Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Leslie and I lead the global events team at Image Skincare. Today, our panel is a wealth of skincare knowledge. Our panelist, Dr. Mark Rohner, is a European board certified plastic surgeon and the author of Age Later, Look Seven Years Younger in Just Seven Weeks. Please welcome our co-founder, Dr. Mark Rohner. Our next three panelists make up our Image Skincare Power Trio education team. Please welcome Kimberly James, Elise Blakey, and Ashley Kerr. We know everyone has a lot of questions regarding ImageMD. Our team of expert panelists will answer your questions at the end of their discussion. Please type your questions in the chat by clicking on the chat icon below. Please feel free to type all of your questions during the discussion. With that, let's dive in. Kimberly, I will let you begin. Hi, Dr. Mark, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. Glad it's, so, to be here. it's so great to see you. Yes, likewise. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us the opportunity to join you. We're super excited. We know that our estheticians are really, really excited. They have tons of questions. They're loving that they have the opportunity to bring the MD collection in. So I'm going to start by asking you a couple of questions. Sure, go ahead. Are you ready? Ready. All right. So our first question was, now that the MD line is available to all of our licensed professionals, does this mean that the formulas have changed and is it no longer considered medical grade? Yeah, no, absolutely not. I mean, the formulas have not changed at all. Uh, but what we do from time to time is to update and innovate our products if newer ingredients or technology becomes available. And that is just a normal process that we, we do at Image with all our products on a constant basis. Just to give you a little example, the Vital C uh, Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum is now in existence for over 17 years and it went through at least five reiterations. First, we took the parabens out, then uh, peptides became available and stabilized vitamin C so we are always looking for innovations, how we can improve and innovate every single product. But that has nothing to do with uh, now the Image MD line also available to licensed professionals. I love that. And I know estheticians, you're so excited because really this will be a game changer for you because you are now going to be able to include this amazing collection. So that's amazing. Okay, number two, how does the MD collection compare to other competitive products in the marketplace? Yeah, I mean, I could talk for hours about <laughs> what our competition is not doing so well, but, but I typically don't do that. So I usually do not speak about competitive products, but really rather focus on all the benefits that, that we at Image um, offer in our product line. And I, I truly believe that with Image Skincare, we are the most innovative skincare brand out there in the marketplace. You know, we, we, we do not only um, use the newest technology available, but we also develop our own technology and um, to have unique and proprietary products that you find uh, anywhere else. So I, I'm actually super excited about our entire product offering. I think we have the widest range of just any uh, company out there. And, and we sell our products on over 60 countries. Not very uh, uh, many skincare, professional skincare brands can, can say that uh, about themselves. So we are proud about our products and we are proud about our team. Uh, and we focus on, on those two things. I agree. <laughs> okay, and my last question for you is, can you explain how the delivery system in the MD collection works? Yeah, I think that, that is very exciting for me as, as somebody that is so involved with formulating because you might find vitamin C in a different company or in a different product or you find peptides. But that doesn't mean all that much because ingredients that we use, they vary in molecular structure and in size. And they can, for example, be water soluble or fat soluble. And all those characteristics influence how and if certain ingredients can actually 
be absorbed by our skin, okay? And in order to enhance the absorption as well as increase the effectiveness of active ingredients, we develop and utilize those de delivery systems. So the delivery system helps uh, for ingredients to reach deeper uh, skin layers, increase the activity levels of uh, the ingredients and therefore improve the results you can achieve more so if you would just use the ingredient alone. And what we use in the image MD line is a clever technology where we are mimicking certain molecules and ingredients that you find in our skin in itself. And we combine those molecules with the active ingredients and therefore you have a better penetration into the skin because kind of the, the skin recognizes um, the ingredients as its own and then and um, what we call a film forming effect happens where you have pathways in between those skin cells where the ingredients can can absorb better and, and more effective so it's, it's pretty complicated but it's also exciting because this is really the differentiating factor between an image skincare product and any other products that you find in the marketplace because we, we combine this technology, how we develop uh, and deliver active ingredients into our skin. That's great, I love that, thank you. It's great information and again, such a great point of differentiation as you mentioned, so we're, we're so competitive out there. All right, Ashley, I think you have a couple questions, yes? I Dr. do, Mark? and I think that was a perfect segue into this next question, which is, is the MD collection stronger than the other collections? Yeah, I mean, all our products are known for the effectiveness and results that they achieve, okay? And, and we developed the image MD line with universal skin types in mind. That means that not every single product can just exceed a certain active activity of ingredient on every single level if you would compare apples to apples or bananas to bana bananas. You know, so in, in many regards, all products in that line, line have the maximum concentration of active ingredients available. Uh, certain similar products, for example, the overnight retinol mask, we have one in the ageless line and one in the image MD line. It has a higher concentration of retinol and then with the delivery system that we added to, it has, a, it has an increased potency, but you cannot compare every single product like that. For example, to give you the other way around, the ageless total facial cleanser has a totally different concept than the image MD cleanser, you know. The, the ageless cleanser has glycolic acid as a higher concentration and the image MD cleanser actually has a lower glycolic acid concentration, but it also includes three different types of acids. Right. So, so um, we developed certain products um, for, for different skin conditions and we wanted to make it very universal. Uh, and I think that hope, hopefully answers your question. I think you nailed it. Um, and that kind of takes me to the next question, which is actually a twofold. The first part is, how does the MD collection uh, complement the other collections? And then can you pair them together? Yeah, I mean, the entire line was designed as a complete system, okay? So you can use the cleanser, the serum, the cream, the moisturizer, all the way to the lip enhancement, uh, the mask and the eye gel, all within this one line. Uh, and, and, and we wanted to create it so it's simple to understand and also for the physician or the professional, very simple to educate on, on the product line. So it, it perfectly sits on its own and, and that's all what you probably need or want. But then on the other hand, of course you can pick and choose, you know, if you love your green organic cleanser in the morning and then you want to use something else at night, you can mix and match. And I think that's the beauty of image is that it's so versatile, you know, it's very difficult to make any mistakes uh, with our product line and you're, you're going to get great results uh, even if you go by your favorite color and not so much um, <laughs> pick, pick, pick your product by the name. I agree with you. I think you answered that beautifully. Um, and that's something that drew me to image actually was that you can mix and match and there's no way to mess up and you're just going to get those great results. So I think that's, you hit it right there. I'm going to turn it over to Elise. She has a few more questions for you. 
Thanks, Ashley. Hi, Dr. Mark. So we have a couple questions that are focused on skin concerns. And the first one is, can ImageMD be used for sensitive skin types? It can, use, can be used by, by any kind of skin types, you know. It, it, in principle, um, it, it is very versatile. However, if you have super sensitive skin and you don't have any experience, for example, with retinols, um, you might want to ease in with a little uh, different product, maybe from the Vital C line that even has smaller amounts of retinol or the Ageless line that we offer. And then you can recommend uh, start to e ease into this line if you're very inexperienced. But, but just to give you another example, my wife Jana, that you probably heard about, has rosacea. <laughs> she uses the, the, the overnight retinol mask and all, all the, the very active retinol products in that line. And, and, and um, it's perfectly fine. So, so the answer is yes, you can use it when you have sensitive skin. I love that. And I think that is so important that our clients um, really are hand in hand and, and work with our professionals, our licensed professionals, so that they can use retinol the right way and they're going to get their best results. Mm -hmm. All right. So we talked about sensitive skin types. Which MD products would be best suited for acne? For acne, we always recommend the clear cell line. That's the blue line and that, that's what many of you guys already know. But all the retinol products that we offer also in the MD line are great products for acne. You know, um, even if the main um, skin condition for the image MD is aging, fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, really, really, it's a, it's a great anti-aging product. But how, what we found is that a lot of anti-aging products are actually beneficial for acne as well. And that depends on the on the on the acids that are being used and on the on the active ingredients, for example, the retinol. So, so again, um, anything with with retinol, the overnight retinol mask, and even the the moisturizer SPF 50 that we have in the MD line is a great a lightweight moisturizer for for problematic and oily skin. I agree with you. And I also love that there are different forms of acne and different stages of acne. And with Image and Image MD, you can work with your professional to make sure you're treating all different um, forms of it. So that's super uh, exciting. Last but not least, I know this is what everybody is dying to know. Why did you create the Image MD line? Yeah, I mean, the Image MD line was designed a few years ago really as a complete and simple system that could stand on its own without having to choose different products right. from maybe even different companies. You know, we hate that. If you want to use our great serum and, and cream, but then you, you were not super happy maybe with the cleanser. We wanted to eliminate that issue and create really something that, that you basically even can sell in the box and there's everything in there that you need uh, to get started. And we wanted to create something that's best just in every single category that would be able be, to be used by just everybody. You know, that was kind of the objective that we had. And then also back in the days, physicians like myself, we were always looking for something exclusive. And we heard that always as one of the uh, objections to say, yeah, uh, your products are great, but 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 um, they might be found in in a spa or or offered by estheticians, and that argument I I quite honestly never really understood, but we still wanted to satisfy that that need and the request. Right. And I think now what, where we live in such unprecedented times, uh, in in such unique situations that argument really falls flat, you know, because what does it, does it matter if you have a great product, but nobody has access to it? Exactly. And, and that's not the primary reason. We actually made the decision to open the MD line to all licensed professionals before the coronavirus uh, uh, was, was um, raging around the world. Um, so, so, so that wasn't primarily the reason, 
but it really showcases now that you cannot think in physician dispensed or esthetician dispensed anymore. The lines are very blurry right. and licensed estheticians work with physicians anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. Me as a plastic surgeon, uh, I, I like to be in the OR and I do my surgeries and then we have licensed estheticians that recommend uh, skincare products and they do the treatments and the chemical peels. So it's a very fine line and that's why we said, you know what, in, in the 21st century, it doesn't make sense anymore. Uh, licensed professionals are licensed professionals and they're very well educated. Uh, so so th that was the main reason to open this entire line now also to licensed estheticians, which I think makes perfect sense. I agree with you. And I know that our estheticians are so excited about this. And like you said, they really are the experts in the treatment room, hands on the skin. So um, I know we are so excited to really be teaching about the Image MD collection. And I know our right. estheticians are super excited to take their clients' um, experiences to the next level. So thank you so much for your time. It was so awesome to be, have these one-on-one uh, -on -one questions with you. And I understand, Leslie, that we've got some questions from the audience. We do. We actually have a lot of questions. So the first question is going to be for Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark, the question is, what Im um, Image MD products do you and Jana personally use? Well, that's always a super tough question. I don't <laughs> have the brochure in front of me, but I have the entire closet full of all the products that we do offer. And, and I happen to usually use the latest development, but I happen to also like a lot of products in the M image MD line. For example, last night I used the, the eye gel that I absolutely love. I think the overnight retinal mask, even if it sounds so active and maybe even a little bit scary to people initially, it gives such intense hydration in the morning. It's really mind boggling that product. So I, I love that product. I like the post treatment uh, gel. I like the lip enhancement with the SPF. Um, the cleanser is great in the shower. I could go on and on. <laughs> I mean, th those are all, like I said, my babies. I, I couldn't choose and pick to tell you which one I like better than the other because I think they're all really super unique products that, that, that I personally can use every single one of them. Thank you. Okay, the next question I'm going to ask our education trio. How does the Ageless Repair Cream compare to the MD Youth Cream? Who would I recommend which one to? Kim, you want to take that one? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Uh, okay, so how do they compare and who I would recommend each one to? Okay, I'm going to get the camera here. <laughs> um, so they are very similar, but there are differentiations, obviously. And we get this question a lot. We get this question a lot with all of the products, not just the repair cream. I think you have to look at every product individually, though many of them have similarities. They're, the entire formulation is different. So we, in, instead of kind of comparing apples to apples or apples to oranges, um, we really just look at the product itself because I think that's a better way to position it. Now, if we were going to compare, um, one of the things I love about the MD collection is that for me, it almost combines all of the best of the best. So it's almost like it takes all of those key ingredients and those delivery systems. And then of course it has its own unique delivery systems and really, uh, showcases it all in one. So there are a lot of similarities. I think when it comes to positioning, one of the things about the uh, ageless repair cream, we have the retinol, there's also glycolic. So that can be a little bit tingling on many people's skin. Sometimes you have those that might be a little bit glycolic sensitive. So there definitely are times and situations where you want to look at that ingredient comparison. 
Um, I believe that a main point of distinction with the MD repair cream is again, really looking at those advanced uh, delivery technologies. And being that that uh, it contains that and includes that delivery system really helps to deliver those ingredients and that product into the targeted site of where we're trying to treat. So they are similar um, as far as positioning one of the things that I am finding that it works very well, and I think a lot of our SDs are kind of positioning the MD, is you can really look at this as a step-up progression. Yeah. Yeah. So you might want to introduce, for example, the Repair Cream. The Asia's Repair Cream is a great introductory product. So this is great for someone who maybe has not used retinol in the past. This is a great product to get them started. They can gradually use as their skin uh, becomes comfortable and, and goes through sometimes a little bit of a transitional phase. Um, this is a, a perfect starter product. Then as they need to move up, the, the professional can recommend them stepping up in that retinol percentage, et cetera. So that's where we might bring in the MD repair cream, for example. So really positioning as a step up product, I think has been very advantageous to our SDs. So that's a way that I would look at positioning. Yes, both of them are offering some of the similarities in regard to what they're doing, but you want to look at that distinction in delivery and strength and performance. So that's a way that you can utilize them both and maybe use them as a step up progression method. So hopefully I answered the question. Thank you, Kim. Okay, so this next question is for Dr. Mark. Is too much retinol bad for your skin? Yeah, sure. Everything too much is bad for you. You know, you need to have it in a good balance and, and um, uh, what, what we also promote in our products is what we call CPN or correction prevention nutrition. So you, with image, you wouldn't find just a, a retinal product uh, primarily. We would always combine it with corrective ingredients, preventative ingredients, nutritional ingredients within one formula to, to help with inflammation, with um, sensitivity, you know. Uh, so um, the short answer is yes, you can have too much retinol. It, it, it really can. It's like if, if, you, if you're not really trained and you run a marathon immediately, uh, that, that, that's also not good for you. Thank you. I think that was a really helpful answer. Okay. Education team, could you please explain the difference between the MDSPF versus Prevention Plus? I would like to be able to explain this to my customers when asked about a little bit of a higher price point. Okay. Sure. Turn into me. She's so on a roll today. today. Yeah. yeah, you go for it. Okay. So one of the differences between the MD Prevention Plus uh, SPF 50 and our Ultimate Prevention Plus 50 is that we do have a little bit of different technology and ingredients in the uh, protection of exposure. So our Prevention Plus Daily Ultimate SPF 50 does incorporate ingredients that are very helpful in uh, providing protection against blue light. In the MD, restoring daily defense moisturizer with an SPF of 50. We also have ingredients that are protecting against uh, the blue light. There's also ingredients in there not only protecting against the UVA rays, but also IRA. So again, very similar, same SPF protection. However, a few different um, ingredient components that provide the same benefits, but in a different manner. So again, another similar product, but with those different uh, ingredient formulations, we do have a little bit of differentiation in the protection of the different types of light protection. Um, so that, that's a distinction. Other than that, similar in 
Um, they, they, the antioxidant complex is very important because, you know, whenever we're getting exposed to any type of UV rays, uh, other light exposures, there is the potential for free radicals and free radical damage will wreak havoc on our skin. And that's what's going to cause our skin to wrinkle and sag, etc. So if we're able to bring in that antioxidant complex to really help to scavenge those free radicals, we're going to lessen the potential for that damage. So that's why it's so very important that we're using a good SPF every single day. And with the Image MD SPF, again, not only are we getting that protection to the sunshine and those UV rays, but all of this digital equipment that we're continually in front of. On top of that, we have the antioxidants. And then there are some additional ingredients as well that really help to nourish the skin. I love that about image products because Dr. Mark actually uh, made a great reference to the CPN. And that's one thing that I've always loved about our brand is that even when you have a more advanced or maybe I say aggressive ingredient, and I say aggressive in a very loving way, there is always an ingredient or ingredients that help to balance. So you're always getting the correction, but along with that nutrition prevention, and I think that's very, very important. So um, great question. I know that there is some confusion because there are similarities between some of the other collections and the MD. So we appreciate your questions and hopefully that helped. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome. Okay, Dr. Mark, this question is for you. Um, it, is Image MD good for pigmentation and can I pair it with a Luma? Yeah, we, we actually have um, a product set that um, are suited for pigmentation as well. I'm just looking through the entire program here and uh, Illuma is, is um, a line designed from start to finish for pigmentation, okay? And, and the Image MD line um, also has, bright, has, for example, the brightening, restoring brightening cream uh, as, as one, one product line, again, uh, one product within that line um, that we designed ex as, as an exclusive offering initially. So both can be used for pigmentation uh, and, and uh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, for my education team, this question is for aging clients with drier skin who are serious about reversal, is this a good line to prep for peels? Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Leslie, I'll take this one. So yeah, All right. I, mean, I think the short answer and the easiest answer is that the Image MD kit is going to be absolutely perfect for prepping, for maintaining those results, Oops. and for aftercare, for post care. So it is really kind of a no brainer. It's something that you can rely on and you can um, commit to your clients that is going to prep their skin for advanced modalities. Even the most sensitive skin type, this is a really easily balanced, beautiful skincare kit and system that allows for prevention, uh, that allows for correction and nutrition. So absolutely. Um, and it really does, as we've said earlier, it kind of takes all of the best of all of our innovations through image skincare and puts them together into one kit um, that follows our line of simplicity of that cleanse, that serum, that daytime moisturizer and nighttime moisturizer that will allow for our clients to get the best results. Um, and it'll prep their skin for advanced modalities, for IPL, for chemical peels, um, and then be able to maintain those results, especially while so many of us are at home these days. So we can you know, provide that home care in a, in a very targeted manner as well. So absolutely. Thank you, Elise. You're welcome. All right, Dr. Mark, what is the difference between Image MD and the Max line? Yeah, totally different concept, you know. Um, look, we, we have now 60, 70 products and we, we have similarities in, in, in a few of those products that we offer, but um, the core concept behind the Max line and the core concept between the Image MD line is, is fundamentally different. The Max line we developed 
over 12, 13 years ago now, um, out of the idea to combine peptides with plant-derived stem cells. And that, that's uh, something that we developed when, when uh, stem cells just became available. The same year we had those uh, in, 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 in that line. And at that time, we really wanted to combine those two technologies together and made it completely asset free. So you don't find any assets um, in the MEX line. And that was important to us because at, at that time, we had the vital C and the ageless and the omedic, and that was basically our core products um, that in, in the system besides the, the, the sun or the prevention plus line. So the MEX line was developed because of the peptides and the stem cells and the image MD line, like I explained before, was designed as a complete uh, set of products for the physician markets. Thank you, Dr. Mark. All right, my image education team, here's your question. Will image ever make back bar sizes for the MD products? I know you're dying <laughs> for this, um, but since we've just kind of released it to everyone, we're gonna take our time and kind of see how you all do with it. So right now it's in retail, but at the end of the year, we will assess how it's doing. And hopefully if you're all really bringing it in, we'll assess at that time and make a decision to either bring it on or what we're gonna do around that time. So order your MD, hang tight. One thing I wanted to add is that the MD kit is so perfect if you're doing a series. Mm -hmm. So um, just being that I worked in the medical field in plastic surgery, I used to use this kit all the time in a series or a package. So if you are working with lasers and you're doing packages, it's a great way to add it right into the cost of your package. So it's a no brainer for not only the client, but for you yourself. So just wanted to add that in there because I think that's a ideal way to sell it. Thank you, Ashley. Well, while I have the education team, I have two more questions for you. The new protocol today that you featured on the first event, how do I get my hands on that? That is a question that was asked a couple of times. Good question. It's a great <laughs> question. So that is actually going to be available to our professionals on our website under our pro resources. It will be beautiful and designed out for you, and there were so, will certainly be more to come. We really just touched the tip of the iceberg with protocols for MD, um, so definitely keep your eye out for more of those. And this opens up a great retail opportunity for you to introduce those products in the treatment room and then sell that follow-up uh, image MD retail. So definitely keep your eye out. It'll be on our professional website under the pro resources, and you'll be able to download, print at your disposal. Okay, next question for the education team before we close it with Dr. Mark. So two last questions. The first question is, when is your next MD webinar? Ooh. <laughs> Can we pull out our calendars? I believe it's me on yeah. Thursday, yeah. Thursday morning, I think at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And the, the schedule is on the website, yes. professional website. So, if, in fact, if you could tell <laughs> us on the next website, <laughs> send me. Let me know my schedule. <laughs> So I guess the question is, there are tons of MD webinars coming, or I guess the statement is there are a lot of MD yes, webinars yes. coming up. Yes. So there are some questions that we were able to answer because of time. So those questions, all of the education team will be able to answer on all of the webinars coming up. Um, another question that I will pose to you is, is the image MD line exclusive to estheticians or is it available for consumers to purchase right now? Professional, exclusive, only. yes, exclusive to estheticians. So um, the consumer cannot buy this directly, and we really are doing a lot of work and effort around helping to build your businesses. So with our drop shipping program, and remember, MD is a part of that. We really want to help you and support you in bringing those clients to your businesses. So this is a great opportunity to really provide that exclusivity to the consumer. So hopefully it'll be um, very successful for you all. Thank you, lovely education team. Dr. Mark, this question was asked about four times from four different people. What new skincare technologies do you see coming our way in the future? 
Oof. Yeah, that's a <laughs> tough one. That is a tough one. I mean, it it really depends on on also the future, but um, what what I probably foresee is that something is gonna be more personalized mm -hmm. uh, for your skin type. Um, maybe um, that that can r really uh, reverse the the signs of aging. Uh, I think technologically wise, we, we are already there in the laboratory, you know. But but um, to make that uh, available to the public, that's going to be the biggest struggle uh, when it comes to regulation. And uh, I mean, we we are operating. At, between the fine line of medicine and uh, what we do is sell skincare. So that, that is something that we will have to overcome for our industry. But I mean, I'm very excited about the future and, and what you can do with topical skincare nowadays. I think it's, it's really gonna, gonna improve from year to year as it has been in the past. And uh, what I do hope is going to become more and more important is the preventative portion, you know, because when you're 40, 50 and you already have wrinkles and fine lines and pigmentation, it's always way more complicated to reverse and correct that than to do something preventative beforehand. So what we also would love to do is create a little bit more awareness and, and educate people around how to take uh, care of their skin uh, from early ages on sunscreen is the number one anti-aging product in itself. So if you start early, um, you, you can shave off years to come from, from, from the appearance of your age in your face. So I think that's all exciting stuff that, that we, are, we, we will see in the near future. Thank you, Dr. Mark. And we know you are very hands-on in that category. So we'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. Thank you to our panelists, Dr. Mark Rohnert, Kimberly James, Elise Blakey, and Ashley Kurt. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in to Ask the MD and Maximizing MD earlier today. Don't forget today only 5% off your order, including MD. Simply type in the notes of your online order. If you call into our customer care center, let us know that you attended the MD event. Don't forget, Dropship has been extended to the end of the year and you can Dropship Image MD. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have a Skinspired day. Thank, Thank you so much you. to our panelists. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.